All right. So from our class website, we are going to click on the link. And then we're going to go to Office 365 where you're going to log in. And then we're going to go to Microsoft Word, right? Microsoft Word. And we're going to create a new blank document. So this is Microsoft Word. The first thing we want to do, type in our name. Type in our period number. And then type in today's date. Okay. Now, we want to move this over to the right. Right? So we want to change the alignment of this. So we're going to highlight it. And then you see this little function right here, text alignment. We're going to click on text alignment. And we're going to go align right. Okay. So now our text is aligned right. So everything we do from this point on is going to be aligned right. But we're done with align right. So now we want to get back to the middle. To do that, click on text alignment. Align center. Right. So now we're going to put my classes. Okay. I want you to highlight my classes by clicking and holding. And then I want you to increase the font size. There's two ways you can do this. You can click the exact font size you want. Or you can use these uh, grow font or shrink font, right? So I can grow it or shrink it. Next thing I want you to do is make it bold. So you're going to click on this B, bold. Right? So my class is bold. And you're going to hit enter. Now you're still in size 28 font, and I'm still in bold. So I want to change these, and I'm still in the middle. So first thing I'm going to do is change my alignment left. Align left. Then I'm going to drop down my font size to 11. 11 or 12 is the standard you're going to always pretty much want to use. And then I want to get rid of the bold. So now I'm going to type in period 1 dash and the name of the class I'll just say science. Now I want to Hit enter. I'm going to give the teacher's name, Mr. Wilson. And then I want you to add a picture. So what you're going to do is click insert, picture from Bing, right? Bing is just a search engine that is Microsoft's. And let's type in science. All right, just choose one. It doesn't matter which one. Click insert. And then I'll make this a little bit smaller. To make it smaller, I just grab this corner and I can shrink it. I can rotate it by clicking here if I wanted to. Okay, now I want to make this bold, Mr. Wilson, so I'm going to select it, click bold, and now I want to italicize it, so I want to make it lean over to the side a little bit, so I'm going to click italicize, italic, and then I'll go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Now I want to go to my period, 
let's go ahead and make this a little bit larger and make it bold and underline it right so again I selected it I clicked bold and I clicked underline to make it underlined now I'm gonna to go to my next class period two math Ms. I don't know Martinez and I hit enter now I'm gonna add a picture insert picture Bing math This is just fine. All right. Now I want to make this match, right? So I look at, the, I click on it. I can see it's Calibri is my font name. The size is 16. It's bold and underlined. So I'm going to select it. Go to 16. Bold. And underline. Then I'm going to go to Wilson. I'm at 12 bold in italic. So I'm going to go 12 bold italic. There's period two. Now I want to go period three. History. Um, I don't know, Mr. Hansen. And then I'm going to add an image. Insert picture being history. That's an easy one, history. Make it smaller. All right, now I want to make this text match this. So what do I do? Click on it. I can see the what it is. Calibri 16, bold, underline. So Calibri 16, bold, underline. And then Calibri 12, bold, italic. So highlight. 12 bold italic then I want to go to the next one oh okay you see these lines right here so this is a page break so that means that's the end of the page so what we want to do because we don't want to have period three in one page and then history the the logo in the second one so we're just going to go here hit enter until we're out of the page we're in a new page all right Period four. Music. 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 Ms. I don't know. Um, Ms. Apple. All right. Insert. Picture. Bing, Apple, and here's an Apple. Actually, that's not where we use. We're, it's music class. But I thought, for some reason, I was thinking Apple Music. All right, music. Oh, and see this right here? It says Creative Commons only. Creative Commons is, they are files that you can use for anything you want. And you don't have to pay money for them. So generally use Creative Commons. So I'm selecting the piano. Make it smaller. All right, again, we're going to check our attributes. Calibri 16 bold underline. So, 
Calibri 16 bold and underline and then Calibri 12 bold italic Calibri 12 bold italic all right after music I don't know what do you think um, period 5 art mr mm, mr young we're going to insert picture being art cool jimi hendrix We're going to make the attributes the same. Calibri 16, bold, underline. And then Calibri 12, bold, italic. All right. Now we go to six period. What else is there? Science. Oh, English. English. Ms. Sanchez. Then we're going to add a picture. Insert picture from Bing. English. There's an easy one. It's probably big, but that's okay. We can make it smaller. And then highlight 16, bold underline, highlight 12, bold italicize, and then Period seven PE Mr. I don't know, Wells. Hit enter. Insert picture Bing PE. There's a bunch of athletes. Highlight Calibri 16, bold, underline. Highlight 12, bold, italicize. Now, we've finished all of our classes, and I want you to do one more thing. So we're going to type top classes. And we're going to center it. So alignment centered. Let's go ahead and make it bold. And let's increase the size. While we're at it, let's hit enter. Actually, let's underline it. Where's the underline? Underline. All right. Now we're going to hit enter. I hope I've got a space in there, so let's delete that space. Take off underline. Take off bold. And type in English art history. Okay. Now I'm going to highlight them all. And I'm going to click the bullets and boom, see how it added the bullets. Now this looks kind of funky, so I want to move this to the right, to the left, align left. And let's make them smaller. 
Okay, so what this is called is an unordered list, right? It's a list, but it's not telling you what's the favorite, right? It's just there's three. So I want you to get turn off the uh, bullets. And I want you to center again. And I want you to type in top classes in order. So now we're going to make an ordered list. Again, I'm going to select it. Bump up the font size. Make it bold. Hit enter. Oh, I forgot to underline it. Okay. Now I want to move it to the left side. Right, alignment left. And this time I'm going to make an ordered list. So one, two, three. To do ordered list, I click on numbering. Oh, that's really big. Let's drop it down to 12. English. Whoa. I'm going to delete all that. Okay, take it off bold, take it off 12. Now and make my ordered list. English, art, history. All right, so that's all you need to do. We're going to have our name on the right, period on the right, date on the right, my class is in the middle. Period one with your period number, the name of your teacher, add an image, do that for every single one of your classes, then you're going to make top classes, a list with bullets, this is again, unordered list, then top classes in order, ordered list, and you are done.